I'm PDSA vet Olivia, and in this video, I'm going to explain how you can do an exclusion diet to help check for a food allergy or intolerance in your pet. Blood and skin tests are available to try and diagnose when a pet has a reaction to food, but these aren't always accurate. The best way to find out if your pet reacts to an ingredient in their food is to give them what's called an exclusion diet. An exclusion diet is designed so that your pet's guts will not react to it, even if they have a food intolerance or allergy. If your vet has asked you to do an exclusion diet, they'll tell you which food to use. There are different types, so it's important to use the food recommended by your vet. You should have regular appointments with your vet or vet nurse throughout the process, as they can support you through it. The most important thing to remember when doing an exclusion diet is you can't feed anything else. The only thing your pet can eat or drink in that time is a special food the vet has prescribed and fresh water. Be careful your pet doesn't get any other treats, tidbits, or even toothpaste or supplements. You can give medication prescribed by your vet, but don't give them hidden in other foods. Anything else that they eat can mean your pet could take a reaction, meaning you have to start again with the trial. It can be really difficult not to feed your pet any treats or extras, especially if they're used to it. But remember, this exclusion diet is a test to help you diagnose a problem and won't be forever. If you can stick to the rules until the test is complete, your pet will be much happier and healthier. Keep a symptom diary where you record your pet's symptoms, appetite and general health every day during the diet. If your pet's main symptoms are vomiting or diarrhoea, you can expect to see an improvement after two or three weeks. For an allergy or intolerance call it causing itchy or sore skin, it can take between six to eight weeks to see an improvement. But if your pet doesn't show any improvement after that time, your vet might recommend trying something else. Once your pet has had improved or no symptoms for two weeks, you can then challenge them with certain ingredients to see if they react. This can help you to identify safe foods, as well as finding out what your pet might react to so that you can avoid it in future. It's best to challenge with just one food per week. And dogs and cats most commonly react to proteins in their diet, so it's best to start challenging with these. You'll need to separately test different ingredients. Examples of ingredients you should challenge with include chicken, fish, beef, lamb, duck, turkey and pork, as well as eggs, rice and different vegetables. Keep feeding the exclusion diet but add a small cooked portion of the protein you've chosen for three days. Continue with the diary of symptoms and if the symptoms come back within a week of adding the new food, you know that your pet reacts to it and you should avoid feeding foods with that ingredient. If your pet is okay with that food being added, it means you can note it as a safe food. Continue to do this with various different meat ingredients until you have a good picture of what is safe for your pet. You can give safe foods as treats and look for a commercial diet only containing safe foods. Your vet will be able to help the whole process, as well as suggesting any other treatment that might be required, so remember to keep in touch.